fiance. I went to Sonabello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now. Call the number on your screen or go to sonobello.com and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. He has this huge kitchen knife and what is he gonna do with that? A man creeping on a porch with a knife. Residents now on high alert, worried about what he could do next. A man pulls a knife on a victim and leads deputies to a chase. Coming in right now, breaking the window. Alba, look at this. Find out how this crazy pursuit all came to an end. Feliz Navidad. It's not worth it, especially at this time of year, to, to, to get all riled up. But can you keep your cool if you're stranded at the airport before Christmas? How a once-in-a-generation Arctic blast could impact your travel plans. From the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 6. Hi, good morning. Today is Thursday, December 22nd. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday Eve. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Thanks for waking up with us here on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. All right, we are starting off with some breaking news this morning on the 10 freeway. Yeah, we have team coverage with assignment manager Mark Lou at the desk and Kalina Estrinos with the impact on traffic. But first, let's start with Mark. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Chris and Marcy here at the desk. We are tracking that breaking news on the eastbound 10. It's right on the south side of downtown L.A. Take a look at the video. So just after 3.30 a.m. this morning, right at the Main Street off-ramp, CHP got a 911 call from a driver who said, they hit a pedestrian on the freeway. Now that driver stopped, got out, he tried to render aid, but unfortunately that pedestrian was very severely injured. Los Angeles City Fire responded along with CHP to find that pedestrian and driver on the side of the freeway. LAFD pronounced that pedestrian dead on scene. Now two lanes of the eastbound 10 are closed along with the San Pedro off-ramp and they will be so for the duration of this incident. That could be for several hours. Now Kalina, I know you've been monitoring this incident too. I just took a look at traffic and it doesn't look that bad. What are you seeing out there? Are there any alternatives? A little bit out there this morning as you take the 10 because of this problem spot. So you can see the red starting to build there. Like you said, it's not that bad, but you might want to pick an alternate route this morning. We have a couple for you. So if you usually take the 10, you can take the 110 heading northbound. If you want to hop on the five, that's a great option for you as well. We also have Washington Boulevard that runs parallel to the 10, and you can take that in either direction to get around the problem we have right now on the 10. Now we also have another signal we've been tracking for quite some time. This is the eastbound side of the 60 right at Garfield. Two right lanes blocked off. People usually travel on the westbound side, so you'll see the traffic building here as people are looking over to the eastbound side to see what's going on. But this has been here for well over an hour or so. I'll track both of them and let you know as soon as they clear. Guys. Hi, everybody. Good morning. We are looking at uh, major impacts to travel across the U.S. because of uh, cold conditions. We are talking blizzard-like conditions, too, as I am tracking a storm. days we are talking bitterly cold temperatures for the northern plains we're talking 38 below in casper wyoming into butte montana fargo north dakota 17 below and the arctic air spreads all the way into oklahoma and northern texas and the cold will continue to spread uh, into the east coast as we head into the next few days so we're talking snow impacts rain cold temperatures and a lot of flights are being impacted because of this is lots of people traveling for the Christmas holiday and we find Tina Patel live at LAX this morning and Tina flights are being impacted this morning. Yeah, you know, right now things are pretty calm. It's, it's early still, so there's not a lot of people at the airport. But those that are flying to the Midwest, the East Coast, or coming from that area, they're going to start running into some problems. We've got some video that shows that powerful storm that Alex was talking about moving across those areas. There's freezing cold, harsh winds, potentially feet of snow that's going to be falling over the next few days. Now, hundreds of flights.